Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'll show you a thriller film. L. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins with a cat nonchalantly witnessing the female CEO of a video game company, Miranda, getting raped by a masked intruder. After the man leaves her on the ground, partially naked, Miranda cleans up the mess. Instead of calling the cops, she takes a bath and orders food, as she avoids dealing with the cops due to her infamous father. Afterward, her son arrives and immediately notices her bruises, but they proceed to talk about his career. He shows her a picture of him with his pregnant girlfriend, which Miranda despises, thinking the girl just wants money. Miranda's son gets annoyed, but still offers to help them to rent an apartment. After her son leaves, Miranda gets wary. She holds a hammer and checks around before she sleeps. The following day, Miranda, with her friend and business partner, Anna, reviews the video game they are producing. Miranda is not satisfied with the animation, and one of the male employees expresses his criticism, and they have a little argument. In the restaurant, Miranda is treated rudely by a woman holding a grudge against her and her infamous father, making her resent her father more. The following day, Miranda visits her mother, who is with a boyfriend younger than her. Then, her mother asks her opinion about her getting remarried, which she immediately detests. Subsequently, her mother mentions her father, who is in prison and whose parole hearing is approaching. Miranda gets annoyed as she despises him for his actions. Later, Miranda drives home and sees her neighbors. The woman invites her to attend the neighborhood meeting, and then she exchanges a glance with the woman's husband, Patrick. Subsequently, she arrives home, while the helper secures her door lock. Suddenly, her cat meows at her, making her recall when it strangely appeared at the door before the masked man attacked her. Returning to the present, Miranda lifts her cat and scolds it for not defending her then. She checks her phone and receives a harassing message from her attacker. So Miranda decides to purchase some self-defense weapons. That night, she goes to the restaurant where her ex-husband awaits her. Miranda suspects him, asking if he will ever tell her she is tight for her age, which is the message she received. Before he answers, Anna and her husband, Robert, arrive. Moments later, Miranda tells them about her traumatic experience, which makes them shocked and worried that she did not report it. The following day, Miranda picks up her son from the restaurant, and they check the apartment. Her son's girlfriend is there, and she observes how her son is submissive to her. Later, she discovers that the apartment is more expensive than planned, and the girlfriend reasons that their baby needs it, with which Miranda disagrees. Miranda tells them to settle in a basic room, but the girlfriend rudely declines her help and freaks out as her boyfriend is not defending her, so she walks out. Then Miranda's son gets mad and guilty, so she tells him his girlfriend is insane. Afterward, Miranda goes to work and passes by Anna's husband Robert, who immediately follows her into her office. He rolls down the windows and teases her as he unzips his trouser, and then they do the smelly deed. Later, while sitting in the office, Miranda receives a message again, saying he likes her boss's color as his hormone juice will not stain it, indicating that she is being stalked. Miranda feels uneasy, so she quietly checks the place, finds her employee working, and suspects him. The next day, she meets her mother and talks about her father and his parole hearing. She asks if she experienced some incidents, and her mother shares that people would throw something at her, as some people treat them rudely because of what her father did. Then Miranda expresses her resentment toward her father, and her mom convinces her to forgive his ill father, but she refuses. Subsequently, Miranda pictures her encounter with her attacker, but this time, she imagines that she manages to fight back. Later, she suddenly decides to watch the documentary about his father's monstrous act. She sees the young Miranda in the film as the narrator investigates her involvement. Outside, Miranda suddenly feels strange when a car passes by and parks across the house. When she goes upstairs, she takes her self-defense weapon and exits from behind. She immediately smashes the driver's window and hits him with anti-hormone spray, only to discover it's her ex-husband, who is worried about her safety. Afterward, she assists him inside and treats his eyes. Then he tells her he borrowed the car from his friend. Miranda seems worried, and her ex-husband believes she is jealous, as she teases him about meeting younger women. The next day, Miranda gets intrigued about her ex-husband's new girl. Suddenly, she receives an email and gets shocked, as she watches the animation of a monster screwing a woman, which has her face attached to it. Anna worriedly comes into her office, as they all receive it. Then Miranda tells Anna it is not the first time she has received a message from her attacker. So Anna suspects that the assailant is in their company, and she agrees. So Anna convinces her to report it to the police, but Miranda refuses, thinking it is pointless. Later, she consults with her employee, who admires her, and tells her it is not an inside job. But Miranda is distracted as she browses at her ex-husband's girlfriend and feels insecure. The next day, she visits her ex-husband's girlfriend in the gym and apologizes for damaging her car. 
Then she spontaneously decides to have a Christmas party and invites her, which she accepts. After that, her son calls, and she immediately goes to the hospital. After a few seconds, the ex-husband arrives and confronts Miranda about her spontaneous Christmas party. Miranda reasons that it is a way to get to know each other. Knowing that she is jealous, he mentions she was having affairs too. They still have feelings for each other. Then, the ex-husband confesses he regrets beating her, which caused their separation. Just then, their son arrives, and they immediately see the baby. Shockingly, the infant is brown-skinned, although Miranda's son and his girlfriend are white. Miranda is disappointed and suggests a DNA test, but her son looks at the baby blissfully and ignores it. In the room, Miranda is dismayed, knowing that the baby is not her son's, but the friend who is also in the room. The girlfriend guiltily glares at Miranda as she breastfeeds the baby. Moments later, Anna arrives in the room, and Miranda's son excitedly hugs her, which makes Miranda jealous. She leaves the room. Then we see the ex-husband glaring at the black guy friend, who smiles at the infant. Miranda smokes a cigarette outside and vents to the nurse who approaches her. She tells her that she and Anna gave birth at the hospital, but Anna lost her baby, so Anna requested to breastfeed Miranda's son. Miranda thinks it is the reason why Anna and her son are closer to each other. That night, Miranda drives home and sees some officers on the street. Patrick's wife approaches her, saying they spotted a prowler, and Patrick fought with the masked man caught in her yard. Patrick's wife is worried about Miranda's safety, so she insists her husband escort her inside, although Miranda refuses. While checking the rooms, Patrick brags about almost catching the intruder, so Miranda appreciates his effort. They exchange smiles and stare at each other for a second. Patrick leaves and tells her to scream if she needs help, and she feels overwhelmed. The next day in the office, Miranda suspects her employee as her assailant. Afterward, she goes to her admirer and invites him to practice shooting. In the firing range, Miranda tasks her admirer to find who created the animation by hacking the computers. He hesitates as it is illegal, but she offers him a huge amount of money and assures him to keep it a secret. One day, Miranda is at home and snoops on her neighbor, Patrick, who is busy helping his wife put up their Christmas decorations. Miranda gets her binoculars and sits watching Patrick as she plays with herself. Later, Miranda goes to her neighbor and invites them to her Christmas party. The following day, Miranda prepares the food with Anna. Patrick and his wife arrive, and she introduces him to Robert. After that, Robert immediately follows her, as he notices her avoiding him. Moments later, they all gather at the table. Patrick makes a subtle move of touching Miranda's hand as he responds to her. It makes her shocked, and Anna witnesses it too. Subsequently, the ex-husband joins them with his new lady, and when they are about to eat their dinner, Patrick's wife requests to pray first. Then Miranda, jealous of her ex-husband's girlfriend, watches her as the lady eats the toothpick she intentionally put in her dish. While everyone starts conversing, Miranda begins flirting with Patrick by teasing him with her smelly foot. Meanwhile, Miranda's mother announces that she is engaged to her boyfriend, so Miranda laughs sarcastically to express her objection. Afterward, Miranda approaches her ex-husband and his girlfriend, and she asks to have dinner again soon. Some of the guests are playing, and Miranda's mother and Patrick's wife are watching the mass on TV, which makes Miranda remember her father. So she speaks with Patrick and recalls when his father mass killed their 27 neighbors, including kids and animals, because he got offended when the parents told him to stop signing a cross on kids' foreheads. Miranda reveals that she helped her father burn the house, which explains her involvement in the scene and gets considered a psychopath. After that, she gets a drink, and her mother tells her she got offended by her. Seconds later, she faints. On the way to the hospital, her mother asks her to see her father. Later, the doctor informs her that her mother is unconscious. She thinks her mother is faking it. But the doctor says there is a chance she will not wake up. So she goes home worriedly, accompanied by Anna, and stays with her. That night, Miranda and Anna share the bed. Miranda gets woken up by Robert's touch. She immediately dresses while telling him to stop their affair. She returns to the hospital and tells her mother to stop if she is fooling around. But suddenly, the nurses rush inside. Later, they inform her she is not responding anymore. After that, she arrives home and feels bothered to see her curtain window open. Upon entering her room, her laptop is on the bed, with the attacker's sorry note for messing her bed with a man's hormone juice. The following day, Miranda holds her mother's urn, and they look for a place to put her ashes. Suddenly, her son's girlfriend freaks out and yells at him. Miranda and her ex-husband observe how she treats him. After the girlfriend walks out, Miranda reminds him the boy is not his. But he is stubborn and ignores the fact, so he walks out angry at her. Immediately, Anna runs after him. Miranda then pours her mother's ashes like trash. That night, it's blowing a gale, and Miranda gets shocked as Patrick comes, offering to help her close her shutters. When they close the shutter together, she gets carried away as he assists and touches her, but suddenly Patrick leaves. 
The next day, Miranda browses her admirer's computer and discovers that he is the one behind the animation. The man arrives and reasons the other employee disseminated it, so Miranda strangely asks to see his birdie and gets disappointed to see it is unclipped. Later, Miranda gets home and unboxes the baby's car seat. Suddenly, the masked man appears and beats her as he tries to rape her again. Luckily, Miranda strikes his hand with a scissor and gets shocked to discover Patrick behind the mask. The following day, Miranda sees the news that her father failed to apply for parole. She curses him, but later, she visits him as requested by her late mother. Unfortunately, the officer informs her that her father committed suicide after discovering she will visit. She sees his corpse and whispers she killed him by coming there. As Miranda drives home, a reporter calls to interview her, when suddenly, a deer appears, making her crash on the roadside. She immediately calls Anna and her ex-husband, but they are unavailable, so she contacts Patrick, and he comes hurriedly. After that, Patrick treats her injury, and while wrapping the wound, Miranda interrogates him about what he did, which makes him feel guilty. The following day, Miranda visits her mother's apartment. Her mother's boyfriend gets upset as she comes without notice, then she tells him she will sell the apartment. As she leaves, Robert calls and invites her to satisfy their libido, while Anna is on a trip despite Miranda's condition. After that, Miranda asks to end their affair. When Miranda gets home, she surprisingly sees her son in the room. He tells her he resigned because of his broken car, making her girlfriend kick him out. Shockingly, he takes the baby with him, so Miranda scolds him to return the baby. However, her son is hard-headed and wants to take care of it. Suddenly, the girlfriend bangs on the door and gets her baby. Miranda realizes that her son is eager to prove he can be a good father, even though they are not biologically related, so he stays with his girlfriend. After that, Miranda and her son go to the grocery and meet Patrick, who invites them to have dinner as his wife is away. While Miranda's son is asleep, Patrick and Miranda go to the basement. She's already expecting to get laid. Shockingly, he reveals that he gets libidinous by inflicting pain, so he suggests doing the deed aggressively, to which she complies. The next day, Anna confronts Miranda that she discovered her husband's cheating, without knowing it as Miranda. One night, Miranda and the company hold a party to celebrate the success of their project. Later, the ex-husband informs Miranda that he broke up with his girlfriend, so she introduces him to their employee for an opportunity to get a job. After that, Miranda sits and sees Anna and Robert delightfully doing a smelly workout in front of her. After that, Miranda confesses to Anna that she slept with Robert before. Anna looks appalled, she walks out, and Robert rushes to console her. Miranda asks Patrick to drive her home immediately. She then tells Patrick she needs to report his doings, which makes him confused. He parks the car, as Miranda enters without locking the gate. Upon entering the house, Patrick arrives in his costume. He suddenly appears and attacks Miranda. During his aggressive fun, Miranda's son comes and strikes his head. Patrick gets up and unmasks himself, which surprises Miranda's son. He asks Miranda why, as he expects that she consents to him doing it, then he collapses. Afterward, the cops arrive and get Patrick's corpse and Miranda's statement. Later, Miranda goes out and approaches Patrick's wife, who is now moving out. Miranda feels sorry for her, knowing that Patrick has also done it to her. But before she leaves, the wife thanks her for temporarily satisfying her husband's needs, implying that she is aware of their affair. Just then, Miranda's son arrives with his girlfriend. He proudly presents his car, and Miranda greets his girlfriend, which shows that their relationship has been reconciled. Finally, when Miranda visits her father's grave, Anna arrives and forgives her. They reconcile and maintain their friendship as they both end their relationship with Robert. Then Anna tells Miranda she will sell her house and plans to move in with her. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.